Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A quick video. Uh, these days, like a uh, lot of things that you must be hearing about that we don't need manual testers anymore. I think according to me, this is the most expensive lie in the tech. Right? Uh, recently, I had a discussion with uh, one of the CTO and uh, co-founders actually, and he was a CTO also. And uh, he said, to okay, Naveen, we had automated everything. And 100% test coverage, 100% automation coverage, we don't need any manual testers, we don't need any testers also, no QA team, nothing. And then we released it and then we finally, after 2-3 years, we got to know that application were crashed. So that's why like, I wrote a LinkedIn post also on this, that last week a startup CTO told me that we had automated everything and didn't need QA engineers at all. And uh, their app launched with the perfect test coverage, all the test scenarios, automation green report is coming all 100 percent test coverage everything is passed but the app crashed within two hours because users were using like normal humans now the human like you and me it can be you know it can be with any uh, nature it can be with any user flow you have to understand how exactly user is actually using your application right maybe some impatient user maybe some user is um, obviously non-technical user user has no idea that okay i have to copy the url enter in the new url or new tab or something like this so we have to make sure that okay we are defining the user behavior and on the basis of that the user behavior testing we are doing it then only your uh, you can maintain the brand you can maintain the uh, your uh, app store rating also because same thing with happened with this company also they were rating were around 4.5 or something now it is drastically uh, gone to 3.4 or 3.5 something on play store and i still so in that case the economics are very clear so why we say this line that manual testers we don't need any manual tester the most expensive lie in the tech why because economics are very clear you think about let's see your average manual tester salary in bangalore hyderabad pune chennai ncr market for example let's say 18 8 to 15 lakhs or maybe 20 lakhs maximum like i'm talking about the average i'm not talking about that okay uh, some people are getting 70, 80 lakhs also. But I'm talking about, let's see, around 4 to 5 years experienced guy. 8 to 15 lakhs per annum. This is what he's getting it. And the cost of major app failure after launch, roughly around 20 to 50 lakhs. Maybe it can be, you know, 15 to 20 lakhs also. Between 20 to 30, 50 lakhs, we can say that. For example, emergency fixes. Customer support surges. Because you have to hire a really good customer team because suddenly the production bugs are coming, customer is calling to the help desk and customer care back to back. N number of issues, hundreds of issues are getting surged to the customer support and customer uh, help desk. And the user churn, developer over time. You need to you know hire some really good developers and then you need to maybe give some extra overtime work also to the developer. They will be demanding more and then your team has to work more on that. So obviously you have to spend money and budget, you have to increase for that. Maybe you have to increase the budget for your infrastructure or maybe other things as well. And then the app store rating damage. This is the most important thing. You actually lost the user trust, especially you must have seen with some banking application or finance based application or any AI application. It happens like this. And then you have to spend around five to 10 uh, lakhs in the performance marketing and the marketing efforts future you know feature development to rebuild that trust this is like five to ten extra lakhs also you have to pay for it it may go above 10 lakhs also so if you like calculate overall spending 8 to 15 lakhs on a good tester a good really functional tester who can just hire and then uh, doing the work with the proper testing mindset and finding the issues and then making sure the quality maintains and everything and executing all the critical and important test cases thinking like a uh, you know thinking like a end user and then testing your application and then you know following the proper processes testing process and everything before moving to the production before moving to the production you are getting the bug this is the best thing that you are having it right that could prevent 20 to 50 lakhs in the post launch uh, launch damage is a no-brainer for most of the Indian startups and the mid-sized companies. Like, I really don't understand why people are hesitant. Sometimes, especially this is the mindset with the with the newcomers or maybe the mid-sized companies or the uh, new startups. No, so we really want to save the budget. We really want to, we don't have a budget for the QA. Let's not hire the QA team. Developers will test it. No, developers will never test it because they don't have time for that. It looks good in the books. It looks good in the theory, but... 
if you talk about okay no developers will test it or ui guy will check the user workflow and everything it works fine maybe for one or two sprints after that everyone is busy in the startup culture or maybe in the mid sized companies because they don't have time for that we really need some good sharp testing mindset people who can come and who can think like a tester who can think like a user and user that how exactly that user is going to use this particular application what kind of user behavior i can define it over here and how exactly the customer is going to you know use this particular workflow in this particular application right so this is a complete responsibility of the testing and the quality maintenance you are giving to a specific team or or one or two guys so better you hire a guy who is what's the package that you have to give the ctc let's say around 8 to 15 20 lakhs that you just need to spend instead of 20 to 50 lakhs and this 20 to 50 lakhs is only after one release let's see in a year you are having around 5 to 6 releases so on an average around 20 25 lakhs also if you are spending after every release on uh, after these disasters then i think uh, i think you are doing a big mistake so i really want to convey this message to all the leadership all the management all the ctos who are actually randomly taking this decision without giving a second thought without giving a second thought okay why the testing is so important okay especially you are in the startup culture where you have to earn the trust of the customer of the users because your competitors are doing and giving a better quality and much better quality over there so testing is not a low profile kind of job i would like to first of all mention this thing you really need to hire some really good intelligent people or some really good uh, uh you know domain expert or uh, functional expert people who can just come and then and then test your application can maintain the quality so i hope like uh, you can share this video with the with these guys who are you know continuously saying that no we don't need manual testers we don't need testers we just want to automate everything or maybe developers will do the testing or developers will write the automation test cases you cannot do 100% automation also if you are doing 30 40 50 percent automation also is still like it's a good amount of automation that you have done and rest of the 40 50 60 percent that you are doing through exploratory testing or proper function manual testing that you are doing it here so you think about it with these economics and then i think uh, and then you will get to know that why testing team is so important why testing and the quality maintenance is so important before the release and that's why we have to hire good qa people right so if you really interested you can follow me i'm just okay i'll keep writing these kind of post on my linkedin you can connect me on linkedin on you can search on linkedin abin kurita and then you will get to know that how exactly i mean i just want to share my experience i just want to share my opinion maybe i'm wrong in some cases that could be possible but what do you think about it? okay why testing and why uh yeah the testing team is very much needed why it's needed to maintain the quality right can developers do the testing can product management can do the testing can can we release into the market without testing are we really so confident about that okay no without qa team we can release in the market what do you think about this so that's all for this video i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all guys